and the Browns. And Chris, as we get ready to kick off this holiday tradition, what does this mean to you as a fan of the game? Well, I guess the Thanksgiving games, they just have a ton of history and tradition with the NFL, all of the teams involved over the years. really want to make their mark in the game and they know that the nation is watching and waiting for that turducken to come out of the oven and no one wants to go home with a loss so this really should be a great game all right chris with that in mind it's game time and we've got two teams really ready to rumble They'll start this drive at the 20. First down, 10 to go. Still looking for an open man. John Beeson was there for the stop. You know, tight ends may not come up with those real explosive plays down the field all the time, but they sure are a nice target for the quarterback. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. Dumps it out right. It's tipped and falls incomplete. Watson was the intended receiver. That'll make it second down with 10 to go. And looks left. Throws. And that's one of those that the wideout goes back to the huddle thinking, he stinks, this guy's terrible. Then as soon as he sees his quarterback, he says, don't worry about it, we'll get it next time. Third down and 10 coming up here. Looking, fires it to the left. And we've always talked about this receiver's big play ability. He may not be the fastest guy in the league, but you can tell he wants the ball in his hands in big situations. First down and 10. Searching for an open man. Caught and dropped immediately. It's always kind of funny to think about with all the big guys that play the game of football. Sometimes it's the little wide receivers that scare you the most. So it's now first and 10 after the big pass play. Has a man short to his left. John Beeson was there to bring him down. There's nothing better for a quarterback than to have a big body guy like that that can catch the football. Nice play. They line up on their own seven. Hillis takes a handoff. He's in. Touchdown. Well, they will go for two here. Hillis gets another carry. Runs it in for two. Great job there. They were able to get it in for two. And you could tell the offense had a plan throughout that drive. Not only did they get the touchdown, but they immediately got the call in for the two-point conversion. They knew exactly what they wanted to do and executed it perfectly. Phil Dawson is just about ready to kick this one away. Munerlin stands back to field the kick. Munerlin fields it at the 13. The offense will take over at the 28-yard line. It's first and 10. They tackle him for a loss. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback, 
But that time he used his athleticism to make a big stop in the run. Good coverage downfield. Short throw to the right. Yeah, I think he would have needed a jackhammer to get that one in there. That was tight coverage. Now third down and 11. Surveys the field. Scrambles away from the rush. Scrambles for positive yards. Dequell Jackson was there for the stop. Oh, boy, that really hurts. You're down the field, focused on your coverage, and you just turn your back to the quarterback for a couple of minutes. All of a sudden, he comes running out of there. You're so focused on those wide receivers, you allow him to make a big play in the first down. That hurts. It's a gain of three. The defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal gain. He's searching for a receiver. He needs to get rid of it. Rolls to his right. He's looking to run. Knocked out of bounds at the 40. Five-yard pickup. Third down now. They'll need a couple of yards to convert for a first down. Has a man to his right. He'll just jog into the end zone. Whoa! Touchdown, Panthers! And they'll try to tack on two points here. Looking for a man. And the pass is incomplete. Should they have gone for two here, Chris? No, I think that was the right call. At this point in the ball game, you definitely wanted to try to go for two. It's about a 50-50 proposition. They know the odds. Just didn't get it that time. The Browns were able to put a scoring drive together on their last time out. They'll take over at the 20-yard line. And we'll have a first down and 10. He's looking down the middle. Throws. It's almost picked off. On their own 20-yard line. Throws to his left. He's brought down at about the 31 by Munerling. First down, 10 to go. Passes short right side. Uh-oh, watch out. He's looking for a burst of speed. He's wrestled down around the 21-yard line by Martin. Good gain through the air will set them up with another first down and 10. Throws to his right. They get him down, but it's going to be a first and goal for the Browns. And I love to watch this wide receiver work. He is so patient with his routes. He gets down low into his cuts, and he really understands what the defense is trying to do to take him away, and he is working them over. Here's the give. 
hammered in the backfield. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. Two, maybe two and a half yards from the goal line now. Short throw to the left. Comes down with it. Touchdown. I don't know about you, but he looked out to me. Yeah, but this is really the perfect use of instant replay. Officials will tell you this is among the toughest calls they have to make. Did he make the catch? Did he get the feet down? Did he dot the eye? Did he maintain possession? A lot going on here. Phil Dawson adds the extra point. Phil Dawson looks ready to kick it away. Munerlin is back to receive the kick. Munerlin takes it at the 12. The Panthers will look to build momentum by getting another touchdown on this series. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. They pick up a chunk of about six yards. Gain of six on the play. So second down, the offense needs about four for the first. Williams, the ball carry. Hit and dropped behind the line. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive. The pursuit to the ball, they were all coming there. Goes through his progression. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line by Maiva. First down and 10. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Well, you know you've got an aggressive safety when he's making tackles for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. Typically, these guys are trying to not give up a big play in the passing game. Now, when you see somebody in the backfield, <laughs> that's impressive. Still looking for an open man in heavy traffic. Running strong downfield. Mike Adams was there to bring him down. Don't see that very often in the NFL. A big run by the quarterback, and let's give those wide receivers a little bit of credit. Anytime you see a guy break a big run like that, the receivers typically are making blocks down the field. The stop was made by Mike Adams. And that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stop them for a minimal gain. It's now second and nine. And we're at the two-minute warning. Scrambles away from defenders. He's dropped down around the 14-yard line by Young. It's first and 10. The pocket collapsing. No biting on the play fake that time. Wow. It's now second and long following the sack. He tries to scramble. Rolling to his left. Decides to run for it. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 16-yard line. Four yards on the carry. That brings up third and 13. 
And the pigskin at the 16. Searching for an open man. And this quarterback's a pretty tough guy, but when you see those big guys running at you, it makes all the difference in the world. The field goal unit is on the field. And the kick is good. So that will make the score the Panthers. Nine, the Browns. Fifteen. Number five is ready to kick this one off. Cribs is deep, looking to return the kickoff. He makes it to the 22. Say as Giro Tutu was there for the stop. They'll start at the 22. And we'll have a first down in 10. Throws middle of the field. He tipped the ball away. That incompletion will bring up second down. Second down. Fires a laser down the middle. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line by Godfrey. First down, 10 to go. Just a minute to go in this first half of play. Passes it over the middle of the field. He's brought down around the 34-yard line by Hogan. Now we have a first down and 10 to go. They spot it on the 34-yard line. Good coverage downfield. It's intercepted. That's our first turnover of the game. First down and 10. Surveys the field. He's going to his right. Throws. He's wrestled down at about the 35-yard line by Gokal. From their own 35-yard line. Scrambling away from the rush. He's going to run with it. There he goes! Oh, boy, that really hurts. You're down the field, focused on your coverage, and you just turn your back to the quarterback for a couple of minutes. All of a sudden, he comes running out of there. You're so focused on those wide receivers, you allow him to make a big play in the first down. That hurts. Dumps it out right. Dequell Jackson was there to bring him down. Williams gained seven yards with the catch. Second down, and they're going to need just about three yards to pick up the first. Has a man out to his right. He crosses the goal line. Touchdown! And this kick will put them up by one. Olindo Mare is good on the point after. Carolina up by a single point. Number five gets ready to kick it away. Cribs stands back to field the kick. The Browns want to get better results from this series. 
Their last one ended with a turtle. They'll start this drive at the 20. It's first and 10. Buying time with his feet. A burst of speed, and he's in the open. Benjamin Watson with his fifth grab of the game. And we'll have a first down and 10. And they get to him. He gets the sack, and the offensive lineman didn't have much of a chance. <laughs> He delivered a perfect swim move, and he was into the backfield in a flash. That's a kind of his signature move, if you will, and he's had a lot of success using it to get to the quarterback. And it didn't look like the quarterback even saw him coming. Yeah, he gets back there so fast that even if you have quick reaction time, you're still going to get sacked. 